Larry Russo, Regional Executive Vice President for the National Capital Region for the Public Service Alliance of Canada. We are in the middle of our We Are All Affected campaign because we've had many thousands of public servants and members receiving letters that they are affected. But we're saying that we are all affected in communities across Canada by the cuts in public services. So we had a plane that was hired since the 19th of August to fly over festivals throughout Quebec. And of course, the hot air balloon festival in Gatineau was scheduled for Saturday, which just passed, September 1st. Now what happened was, of course, in the National Capital Region, we have restricted airspace over the Parliament Hill, as well as the Prime Minister's residence. The flight plan was cleared and approved prior to the flight. The pilot took off from Rockcliffe Airport and flew for approximately an hour and a half at which point the pilot was instructed to land the plane because the RCMP wanted to question the pilot. Once the pilot landed, the RCMP was waiting for the pilot and Sergeant McKinnon of the RCMP questioned the pilot and asked about restricted airspace, but of course there was no problem with restricted airspace. NAV Canada has confirmed that no alarms went off regarding restricted airspace. So Sergeant McKinnon then told the pilot that he had concerns about the banner that the plane was pulling. The banner said Stephen Harper knew the test, which translated is Stephen Harper hates us. Now of course, we have our buttons which say Stephen Harper hates me or Stephen Harper hates us and we even have a website that has been up for the past two months about Stephen Harper hates me or Stephen Harper knew the test and it goes to our We Are All Affected website. So, if the problem was that the message constitutes a hate message against the Prime Minister, why is it that for two weeks this plane has been flying over festivals in Quebec and yet here in Ottawa the plane was asked to land? So the flight was cut short in half and we have concerns. We do not think that criticizing the Prime Minister constitutes hate speech. We think that criticizing the Prime Minister constitutes freedom of speech. So so therefore, we have more questions than we have answers, and we are hoping that we will get better answers than what we've had so far. Thank you.